Well, welcome one, welcome all, and good evening to you all, wherever you are on the face of Africa. We're happy again that you've given us some time to spend with you here on a wonderful evening on the beautiful continent of Africa where the sun kisses the skin of his own children. We're excited again one more time to welcome you on your program, Sankofa, looking backwards at the future. Your host, Maponga J, and uh, tonight will be quite unique. As I've decided, maybe it's high time once in a while in the midst of us inviting many guests who come to our show and we have conversations around a long and a huge uh, tapestry of conversations. And I would want us just maybe to have a quick summary of what we have been working with on the, on the, on the month for women, women uh, month that has just gone past the month of August. We, we started off this journey. Uh, with uh, and, and, I, and I hope that my guys in the back there uh, will be able to pick up some few pieces and uh, having some showcases of some of the programs that we actually ran here on the show. The first one that we did was actually Women's Health, where Gogo Mvoko was here with us on the on the show, and she was taking us through the issues of women's health, the Yoni Chair, and how women can keep their own uh, female health as, as as good as possible. Looking at ancient methods at which women were able to look after themselves and look after their own, look after their own health. And uh, in as much as right now one of the biggest businesses running is the gynecological business, where doctors and uh, med medical people are tempering with the female health of our own African women. We are not saying there's anything wrong with that, but we are saying wisdom says take a little bit of the past, take a little bit of the present, and focus into the future. And if you are not aware sometimes in the midst of the excitement of the moment, you may find that you overexpose yourself to some te technical and technological uh, med medicinal or medical practices which might end up having a long term and side effects along your body and the second the second week then uh, we looked at african calendar we were privileged enough on that day when we had mkulu mkulu singisa from the zinzi foundation taking us through the cycle again the cycle of the african calendar the seasons of, of africa and how that affects our lives, how that affects our diet, how that affects our planting and our harvesting. And when, uh, when Africa at one time was in sync with seasons, our Christmases are not where they're supposed to be. All this rubbish and nonsense of Easter's, all this nonsense of Christmases and uh, bunnies, you, these bunnies and uh, Halloween nights and uh, you know Father's Days, Mother's Days nonsense that is populated the African calendar. Even now, this month is always being called the Cultural Month, African Africa Month, Cultural Month. Who the hell does the West think they are that you must tell the African once a year, once in one month in a year? Now you can be your own culture. We want to celebrate our culture throughout the whole year. So Mkulu Singisa came on show and he started taking us through what it means to us, for us to go back into the greater comedic calendar. And we challenge you, go back into, into the Galaxy Universal Network uh, YouTube channel and the Facebook channel. Scroll back in some of these videos and freshen up your mind. Remember that you forget. You must remember that you will not remember. So go back again and freshen up your mind. And go back there, you find a video that we did, a full program that we did with Mkulu Singisa, summarizing for us. It was a high level. I think much in, during this month, all things being equal, we may actually ask for him again to come back again and teach us uh, much more elaborately along the issues of the African calendar. Where do we start and how do we start and how does Kemet actually become our heartbeat, our, our women's cycles, monthly cycles? I actually linked up to the to the moon and the circulation of the moon the moon itself and very important to me and exciting which i picked up from him also is that if you spend nine months if not ten months in your mother's womb then why do you celebrate your birthday once every 12 months when the cycle of life is actually punctuated between nine and ten months so are you sure that when you celebrate your birthday every 12 months you are actually celebrating your real birthday or you're celebrating colonial birthdays and is your birthday every 12 months or is your birthday every nine or every 10 months those are questions that you need to start asking yourself so that when you get in touch in sync with your greater calendar of life you can actually begin to appreciate the greater expanse of life then i think the third program we had some poetry here and spirituality how in the african culture poetry actually speaks to our own spirituality and how in ancient times we had our poets, we had our musicians, we had our royalties, we had our, our healers. We, the community was, was in sync 
because all these various fraternities were feeding into each other. So when people look at the ancient times, they just think it's, what, it's just a king marrying wives. And you, you forget that in the midst of this community, you actually had key strategic positioned people who all functioned together to make sure that the community itself was actually functional, progressive, and very much developing. So poetry formed, poetry forms a critical part of the entire entire community itself and we express ourselves through our totems we express ourselves through our our our, our music through our rituals we're able to come back and and, and and ululate and and celebrate including the preservation of names the preservation of uh, of our own culture is found in these very names then we did women and african culture also we, um, uh, the, the king came back, he took us through the burial rituals. We also took a why women uh, stay in abusive relationships. And uh, number nine, we had we, we, uh, intra, intra sex, if you remember very well, where that, that those two young ladies, young men, young lady, I would, they refused to be called male or female because they were born with both, both parts, male and female. Then what do you call them? And we had a discussion around that on the intra sex. African language and spirituality was another interesting uh, conversation we had in literature. The all of young traditional leaders in the community, music and African spirituality, women in media and business, if you remember that lady who came here to take us through women in media and business, Christianity and tradition. Oh, well, I think that was one of the lectures that I did there that caused quite a riffraff on the media space here. We also did uh, young writers in, 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 in Africa, fashion and African spirituality. And as of the last week that we had, uh, we had uh, Mavu. Uh, Gushumo from Kenya, from uh, Congo, who was taking us through the greater space of uh, Lumumba and how, again, literature and language can be preserved in the greater African space. As of this uh, last one that we had, it was fashion and spirituality. We concluded yesterday with King Bungane taking us through how to build a palace and how you in the palace must also be running and building your own homes. And one thing I picked up, don't talk to your women and your children as a man while you are standing. Please learn to sit down. People must sit down and we have conversations together. And for tonight, uh, just to pick up the pen tempo again, since it is a cultural uh, month, and uh, Africa is celebrating, Mkulu gift uh, is in the house, and you'll be taking us through some paces on the space of spirituality. This is his third appearance on the show. Don't go away. We'll be with him right after the break. Hello. Being a legal practitioner in South Africa in these challenging times demands lawyers that will help clients beyond legal issues. The ever-changing demands in commerce and tourism require lawyers who have sound and clear business and commercial knowledge. And that's where MB Chava Incorporated comes in. Our business, mining, tourism, health, labor, and economic knowledge encapsulated with law and litigation experience gives us an advantage in the legal sphere. Our experience in assisting businesses, government, and various industries with their needs puts us amongst the many progressive and striving law firms in South Africa. Now, to contact our attorneys for assistance with any of the mentioned fields and others, please call us on 012-341-4187 or send us an email on admin at chabanku.co.za and be Chabanku Incorporated, where problems meet solutions. Feel the heat. Hold on. To make it through this journey alive, you're gonna need someone to teach you the ninja way. Don't just stand there, kill someone! Feel the excitement. Feel the heat with Starset. Challenge your ordinary. Experience the extraordinary. Not only the government, the municipality here has had no plan. Now I believe that my peace is my most valuable asset. Absolutely beautiful! Ah! This is exactly what I was looking for! Camping, camping, camping! It is a day to celebrate. We're ready for action. I like it when it's nice and soft. Yeah, that yeah. is nice. How was it like growing up in Nigeria? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what it is. Feeling is there that you know you're doing something special. 
Stop being so dramatic, Meera. You should just be what you want to be. Experience the extraordinary with Starset. China is saying that the latest outbreak is under control. Feel the heat. The cabinet has decided to ease restrictions on certain other economic activities. I don't want to be a white person who sits by and does nothing, so that's why I'm here today. Feel the excitement. We are here to unite because what we are fighting for is to stop institutional racism. Feel the heat with Starset. Welcome, want to welcome you all one more time. And my guest has uh, walked into the studio. The room is getting much warmer here. We're all excited. Uh, he's not new to the show. Umkulu Uzalwembete Ukift Majodina. He's an elder brother to me. I'm learning quite a lot from him. But we also want maybe to explore one, two, one or two things, maybe just to for him to introduce uh, us to the concept of the African culture. This month is supposed to be a month which is infiltrated with uh, Africans trying to celebrate themselves. So people will be buying pieces of cloth, hanging them on their shoulders. And then I'm, 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 I'm Zulu, I'm Shangani, I'm Venda. You know, what, what does the Africa Cultural Month maybe mean to you as an indigenous uh, practitioner? Mm. Uh, once again, uh, hello to, to your viewers out there. They're your friends now. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, thank you very much, because uh, I've been following on, on the social media spaces, and, uh, mm. uh, and I'm appreciating the commentary that I've been getting mm. uh, in regards to our, our, our contribution, mm. you know. Um, and, and, they and love I, you, they love you. Uh, they actually say I must <laughs> bring you here more often. And they want you to talk more. Uh, <laughs> by it, by it. I, I really appreciate that. Um, but I also want our people to also understand, Master Jay, that mm. we do not do these things for the likes mm. and, the, and the followings mm. and et cetera, et cetera. Mm. Uh, this is not what we are here for. Yes, sir. We are here to restore us. We are here to restore what it is that we believe has been lost to us. By it. And which now links us to the question mm. that, that brings us here today, um, asking what, what is then um, cultural? Mm. Uh, and why is it that we, we, we have to set up a month mm. to, 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 celebrate to, to, to celebrate ourselves, you know what I mean? Mm. And where, where something was supposed to be... Um, supposed to be. A, 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 a daily, a daily, a daily you practice. Have, you have African month. For African culture, by it. Show me on the same calendar, the European month. You know what I'm saying? Yes. You know what why, I mean? Why must the African have a day? Now this is segregation. If Africa must be given one day a month, and we believe in democracy, we also need one day a year 
where the European must also be in one day for the Indians. Unless the, unless the, the, the obvious question that is not being <laughs> asked is the one that is happening, that you, we are on you, some other people's you, you, timeline. You catch, you, catch me, you catch me right on my track right there. Uh, because this is what it is. And unfortunately, we just have to set up these days. Mm. But for, for, for what it's worth, mm. let's use them. Okay. Let's use them. Uh, in this sense, Master J, to say now, when, when, when the African comes to the understanding of celebrating their culture, we, we, we have to understand certain um, um, milestones or, 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 or pillars mm -hmm. that, that are inherent in that so that one can say, uh, I am an African perhaps yeah. in this manner and that yeah. manner and so on. Yeah. And one of the first things uh, coming into that would be to say, we are celebrating a cultural mm -hmm. month mm -hmm. around September. Mm -hmm. And that for us now, we will link it to what does September mean, mean and, and go, what is go, the relevance. Go to town, go to town. It's your, it's your turn. Buy it and go. Yes, buy it. So now, we understand that the African is a people who follow the patterns of nature. Mm -hmm. we, we, we follow the patterns of nature, and patterns of nature is not only the patterns of nature, but it's also the patterns of the galactic space or the universal framework mm -hmm. in, in which time and, 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 and events and seasons Eternity. are affected. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And now, because now we, uh, within the Christian space, we would say, uh, let thy will be done mm -hmm. on earth as it is in heaven. in heaven. So where the African always understood that as, is as a, a way of life. There is a heaven. There is a heaven. There is and, earth. And, when, uh, and there's earth. As, as real as <laughs> earth. Of course. So the <laughs> heavens are also real. By uh -huh. So now, what do we say? Uh, we're saying now, when, when, when the galaxy or when the universe is also in its own dance. Obviously, they're dancing. Yeah. While, while it's, on, it's in its own dance. Mm. There's also a dance that is happening on Earth. that is also reflected. Mm. So now the African now comes to these uh, times. Uh, mm. Now, which times some people may ask out mm. there, and then we would look at the equinoxes mm. and the solstices. Mm. Now, the, 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 there are pertinent rituals mm. that are. That are, unlock the gates. That unlock these particular and, gates. And, and with, align, and align. Within the circle yeah. of, of, of the movement of life, mm. as it were. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So now, we are celebrating Cultural Month corresponding with where we are going now okay. on the 21st, 22nd of, of September, of September mm. which is aligning with the spring equinox. Where the sun is coming back now. By uh, because it died yes. uh, during the 20th of June. Mm. It died and it was the dark night. Mm. You get what I'm saying? So now we're coming back mm. into the light. You see what I'm saying? So now when we understand these cycles, when we understand how we are supposed to align ourselves, mm. then we will begin to understand mm. why do we need to celebrate our culture. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Because now culture is informed by so many things. Okay. It is informed by so many things, and we have to understand now the, the cosmological thinking mm. of an African soul mm. so that he can better align themselves mm. in, in, in understanding why these, these moments, moments like not, not only that, but mm. carrying some of these aspects into our daily lives. Because while you're on that, it would be important. People could be asking out there, okay, we hear you mentioned the, the June, we hear you mentioned in September, but basically as, a, as an African, right. what are some of the the rituals what are some of the you know festivities or some of the you know demonstrations that an african must actually find themselves participating in either to bid farewell to the to the sun as it is going uh, to the north or welcoming it back as it is to coming the to the south in, in a basic sense. home without necessarily uh, huge uh, you know cultural you know but what are some of the basic functions or positioning or cleansing or pre preparation that an African must actually say during this month of September, uh, now that the sun is coming back, when it is finally shining, it must find me in this condition. You don't by want to be found with no clothes by on. The when, when the sun is now shining and you're still naked. You know, the, the night is over. By the, the day is upon us. Togos. Togos. Mkolo. And, 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 and this is when now we, we start to somewhat um, differ. Mm. If you want to look at it like that, mm. but I, I, I'd like to celebrate it as as our diversity, mm -hmm. where now all all rituals mm. from from a family point of view, all rituals mm. are or to point us mm. in in the same direction, mm. or are to align us mm. to the same direction. So now, what do we mean by that? We mean that now, if we are going to say 
we are coming into the era or the season or the time of the spring equinox. Mm. We would look at the characteristics that are inherent within with the spring, the, with the spring time. I saw my, gra my grass is beginning to get green. Uh, by my trees demko. are beginning yeah. to, to, to show some buds. Because now we are also getting ready for, for the planting seasons yes. and all of those things. You get what I'm saying? So now these are some of the things that, uh, because now, before we even celebrate it, we also have to understand how the, the African homestead is, is, is built, Master mm -hmm. J, where now Umsamo becomes uh, 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 the central point. Now it's mm -hmm. the Umsamo mm -hmm. inside the house, and then there's the Isbaya on the outside, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, which now also facilitate different uh, rituals. Uh, uh, rituals. Mm -hmm. So now, when we come now to our altars, mm -hmm. or to, 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 mm -hmm. uh, so the, some of the things that are inherent within this time frame mm -hmm. are the things that we ought to bring. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Where we are also setting a tone mm -hmm. uh, for, for, for the coming season. Mm -hmm. But now, where I would also, uh, where, where you mentioned, where we would like to begin is at that point where, where we are saying, we, ha we have to begin to cleanse ourselves. Mm. We have to begin to cleanse ourselves internally mm. and externally, mm. Master J. Mm. Because uh, th th there's, a, there's a saying that we would like to say that during, during the summer days, mm. All mad people show up okay. <laughs> because during the winter. Spring time. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. Eh? It's true. Eh? During this is during this is spring time in Kenya. It's bad news. It's bad news because it was flowers. suppressed. There was suppressed. Everything was was suppressed. When, when now everything's gonna begin to blossom, um, and and those who are hiding they start coming out. Then they start coming out. Uh, uh, and uh, <laughs> that, that that's a bit scary, but true. But true. But it's true. I've heard that. And 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 these these are some of the times when we are saying now. When families understand that most of the, our rituals should be aligned with the central point of mm. where we are moving as, mm. a, as an entire consciousness of people. Mm. Not necessarily individuals mm. or tribal or family. Collective. You get what I'm saying? Because now we have, w after some time, certain cultures or certain traditions get adopted along the way, mm. where now uh, the matriarchs or the patriarchs mm. of that family now begin to have certain interactions with the ether, and then they would add certain things within the bloodline, which now would, would now begin to make us to differ with certain things. But at the core, at the core of it, all of this needs to align us okay. at, at where mm. the movement of life is mm. at that moment in time. This is when we can say we are aligned. So now, because we understand that uh, there are guardians, there are guardians of these gates, Master mm. Jay. Tina mm. Sizotinga mm. Marlozi. But there are guardians of these gates. Mm. Uh, now, when you would come at it from, from a personal point of view or from a family point of view, you say, You get what I'm saying? Because now there are certain rituals that are for uh, perhaps. Um, during this time of the spring, I, I, I like what you are saying because <coughs> because it changes the whole conversation. By it, okay. as of Ungosu uh, Pungani said something very profound when he said, "People kill cattle and what and say babla lila mashos." By it, but I could have said this is By it, these cool. guys are in the spiritual. Realm. By it, okay. so the whole issue of this this uh, ancestral or mashos connection. I think what I'm hearing you mentioning is, is alignment. Seasonal alignment more than you <laughs> trying to 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 manipulate you, it's uh, it's actually you who must be aligned. By <laughs> <laughs> No, someone I'm is in the them. midst of evil. Now the wonder much was to support them in the evil instead of them aligning their lives in cleanliness and purity so that you can access the blessings of the season. By <laughs> Because that's why we are saying, Master Jay, that they are guardians. Mm. They are guardians of these gates. Mm. And, and how we come into these gates mm. are, it, it's, it's important. Mm. It's important how we come to these gates. That's mm. why now, during this time, mm. some of us will go through certain cleansings. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Mm. Preparing, obviously, for the next season. Mm. And, and uh, like I'm saying, we have to prepare internally and, and externally. And externally. And externally. In other words, detox. Detox. Uh, rebuild this body. Okay. Re-energize re the, the, uh -huh. the energy. As the trees align, are also, align, as the trees are as also beginning blossoming. to blossoming, you By also it, need to start... Uh, consciousness also does the same. Even in terms of business, I want us to convert this science. Because for me, for me, you guys are in the depth, the depth of science. Because if you don't know how the seasons are working, 
you'll be planting in winter, for example. By a and your, your seeds die in the ground. By but when you begin to see nature around <laughs> you beginning to show you signs that the ground is getting fertile, the rains are coming. So even in terms of investment, we need to invest also looking at the movement. So because what is happening externally and what is happening internally and what is happening galactically, yeah, it all works in unity and in harmony. By it, um, um, if, that, if that makes sense. No, you, 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 uh, that's on the nail. Uh. That is on, I mean, at the end of the day, what do we mean when we are saying our lives are in sync, mm. Master J? We are saying that everything that is, is because it must be. Mm. So in other words, if there are certain, in this instance, planetary alignments mm. of some sort that are aligning themselves in a particular manner mm. and and understanding that when we are looking at some of these objects, mm. we're not looking at just stones and bricks, that but are we are looking at a, a consciousness. We are looking at mm. a, a beings, Life. people. Mm. You got what I'm saying? Because now you have to, uh, uh, like I'm saying, where, where, where when the African has fully come to themselves, mm. their level of perception far exceeds this mediocrity. Scientific, scientific uh, this uh, academic, uh, that's not, uh, academic. Uh, this is what I'm yeah. saying. When, when we are going to look at a planet, we are looking at an actual being. We mm. are looking at someone that we can communicate with. You're looking at the sun, it's a life. It's a, it's a being. looking at the moon. Thus you will it's have now the ancient Kemetans, mm. uh, where they now they will give uh, names to, to, mm -hmm. to the sun to say this is Ra. Mm -hmm. or That's how I ended up as Mara Ra. By Tengwaya. Sian Bule Zamkul. We are going to say Zamkul. Where now we understood these, these moments. These beings. We understood these beings and we understood who we were. Mm -hmm. Because as much as they are part of that galaxy, we are also galactic beings, mm -hmm. intergalactic beings. So now when the African begins now to align from their central place or their home mm. not only are they having communion mm. with uh, their ancestors at the at the most basic mm. level mm. but they are also having communion with, with the galaxies with the galaxies ladies and gentlemen by the it. galaxies watching us the sun and the moon are watching us maybe some of you are christians you can read the bible that says the moon will not hurt you by night no, the sun by day. No, the question is, how does the moon hurt anybody? So your own Bible actually even acknowledges that these beings that are in the sky, they can actually cause you harm in the day or in the night. When you come back, I want us to go a little bit deeper and transcend into these spaces and gates of universal African spirituality. And what happens exactly? We'll be back right after this, this break. Hello. The fourth industrial technology era has forcefully changed how every profession has been working for its clients. The world has become smaller than what we used to think. Imagine the ease of talking to a person who is in Australia, China, or Germany while you are in South Africa, as if you're just next door. The ease that globalization and the fourth industrial technology have brought humanity entail doing business anywhere in the world, as long as you have the purpose and the means. It is our expertise as MB Chabong Incorporated to advise clients immigrating to South Africa on various permits and on opportunities for travelers who intend to sojourn in South Africa for a longer period of time. Shewa Rikpe, aye no ti kirejo iti arulo. Nito rino ima wani isi lo ati ofiyangbaye. Shewa ni officer koko, lori awon iso wo ile ati igbanilaye. Lati gba iwe rino, pun ishe okowo. For MB Chabangu Incorporated, Reba Energy, the Nota, Reliba Sebedisi, Lady Officer Jarnakua, Pretoria, Johannes Beckley, Bloomfontein, MB Chabangu Incorporated, Ukumanera, Rabo Nolo, Bariki Barina, Ukumana Chavisole, Sedin Gabo Dalo, Rehopela Lerle, Lechamohala, 012 341 4187, Hoba Lerimwala Lemwala, Zubi Lago, admin at chabangu.co.za. MB Chabangu Incorporated, more matata ahuma na gotarollo. Feel the heat. Hold on. To make it through this journey alive, you're gonna need someone to teach you the ninja way. Don't just stand there, kill someone! Oh. Feel the excitement. Feel the heat. I'm an ardent student of psychology, an ardent student of philosophy, and even also metaphysics. When you, and, and what has made it more exciting for me is that at a very early age I went to study theology. 
and uh, yes, I'm a qualified minister, so to speak. Now you read these verses when you are in, the, in an academic space. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And you are there looking at serious information. You are looking at body of content of metaphysical epistemologies, me, you know, mega information. But because you are in a hurry for doctrine, you undermine all that. Right. You read throughout your Bible, then the, the story says to Abraham, uh, count the stars. Those will be your children. Mm -hmm. Okay? Interesting. Then you read a few verses later, then Jesus is born somewhere, and then the, the Bible says, and the wise men from the east were following a star. Now, you just maybe start off by explaining to me how big is a star. And when a star breaks into our into our own solar system. Oh, guys. What happens there? And what were they following? Maybe that's the right question. By Adam Cole. That is the big question. That is the big question. Because now, if you it's just stand outside, mm. Master J, and just look at the sky. Mm. There is no star that moves. Mm. There, it just doesn't move. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So mm. if you see a moving star there, mm. what is it that you are really seeing? You know what I'm saying? Mm. So now, when we now look at it in terms of mass mm. and all of those things. Size. And size. Mm. They'll tell you that even the smallest star can come and crush the this whole earth, planet. The earth is like a speck uh, of dust. Uh, uh, immeasurable. You, you get what I'm now saying? Now, when you okay. say a star came and they, they were following and it a was, star. And it was moving at a slow pace that these could men follow. could follow. Oh, man. They were not looking at a star. Oh, man. There was something else that they were looking at. Uh -huh. But nonetheless, we want to grab it at this point that to say within the context of that, mm. why is the stars being mentioned mm. in a book that tells us never to look at uh, those kind of things because now they're, they they're supposed to be demonic. They're supposed to be as astrology, according to Christianity, astrology and all these things of the stars, these are for the devil. You, you get know what I'm saying? saying? Uh, and, uh, and even the Bible says, don't, when it comes to astrology, don't consult anything. And yet you find that the crux of the text itself. The master himself, as he comes in the story mm. leading to Bethlehem, mm. talking about them following the star, mm. why make the connection between a master with a paganistic sign? Mm. That does not make wow. sense. Wow. That does not make sense unless there is something that you are not telling us. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Now we ask the question, who are these three wise men? Mm. Who are they? Where do they come from? And where is the East? Mm. Now, when you go into the esoteric, uh, esoteric studies, mm. now they will tell you that these men were astrologers themselves. Oh, they no, studied no. the stars. They studied and they could tell that according to certain alignments. Yes. So when they were following the star, was following a time table. they were following a certain alignment to say a certain being is born. Is born and is connected and is connected to the star to a st a particular and alignment. Let's go of nicely. Stars. Let me speak like Bye. a theology. Then the cosmos, By it. the abstract, Togos, okay. led them to the concrete. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The, the, the like star, like which that. is actually out in the cosmos, uh -huh. moved to align people with the physical space. And on top of the manger, there it stopped. You get what I'm saying? And then here there was music. Then the angels started singing. And uh, the voice was heard from heaven. And, 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 and we would ask who are the angels. <laughs> it's nice to call them Gabriel. It's yeah. nice to call them uh, Uriel and yes. all of them. Uh, yes. And there are many of them. Yes. There, there's a, there's, a, there's a Mega millions. Of all of these names ending with L. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. There are many of them. Yes. And some of them are children to us. Mm. I got mm. But they are just babies. Mm. But anyway, within the archangel realm, mm. you are dealing with some of these beings who are communicating through uh, signs mm. in the sky or signs in nature. Let me be mischievous. By it. Let me be mischievous, just for fun. <clears throat> um, a man by the name of Daniel is praying. So was a cut. And he's, he's fasting. <laughs> he's fasting for mm. 21 days. And there he's praying and he's calling on the Lord. And the Lord is not coming through for 21 days. By it. On the 21st day, then the black book says, and the angel came. By it, and says, you have, yeah, I've just come to give you news that you are greatly beloved. And in the midst of you being greatly beloved, I have some news for you. I was supposed to be here on the first day By it. that you started praying. By it. But while I was on my way to you, there were obstructions By it, in the other realm. By it. So that I could not be here on time mm -hmm. because there were other angels uh, or from darkness 
that were blocking my movement. Now, I want to, I want to say this nicely, not in a bad way. Biotic. Is it possible that Christianity, while we are bowing down and we are praying, in our, con in, in our consumption of the physical, that we actually lose the bigger picture, that what we are whispering in our corners is actually affected, affected by that which is in the cosmic space? <sighs> to come in there, Kekla, these are some of the, the, to put it more bluntly, spells that have been put on our people that we are here to remove. Mm. Because now they've kept us in a loophole. They, 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 they've kept us in a, in, in it's a, a prison. Particular, it's, 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 a, it's a prison yeah. that you cannot the see. The dungeon. Country. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because now it doesn't allow your consciousness to Even your mind. <laughs> You, 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 you understand what I'm saying? It it's doesn't there. Allow. It is written. It's it, there. It's there. But you can't see it. But it's locking you down in a, in a particular frame mm. of, of mind or frame of thinking where now other possibilities become close wow. to you. So someone will always remain a God to you. Someone who will come and enter into that space will know things about you and predict you and, and, and be able to, to profile you. Read you. And read you. Read and your then, star. A, 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 before we even get to the realm of the God, mm. Before we even get there, if you understand the star, who understand, you understand the man. You understand the man, Master J. And I hope they can hear me out there. I'll say it again. By if it. you understand the star, you understand the man. By it, the three wise men, by being able to read a star, they were able actually to come up with a profile and a CV as mm. to who was born, where were they born, what is their mission. Let's go there and find them. And here are the gifts that we must carry for him. Uh, imagine. And mind you, these gifts are also metaphysical keys. There you go now. But we're not going to go into that. We're not in that class for now. Yeah. But there's a reason why they I think we, we must just come back one day. And we, know. <laughs> we have this We have this beautiful uh, spiritual, theological, esoteric conversation and demystify right. some of these because things. I need to wait now, Master J. Uh, some people would tend to think, we, 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 we understand nothing about the scripture. Mm. Master J, I, I'm an anointed pastor myself. All right. Under the apostolic faith. Okay. But that is as far as All I right. wanted to go yeah. in terms of that movement. Mm. So when you when we're gonna discuss these matters of, of, of Christian belief and mm. and, and, and the nitty gritties, mm. we, we can come and sit on we can table anytime. It, 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 it does anytime. be nice today. It does be by nice by today. By I'm, by I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying pulling your leg here and there, you know. And <laughs> because because why, Master J? Mm. Uh, I, for one, mm. in my personal space, I, and in Anna, mm. with, with the Christian yes. uh, doctor, it's part of our, it became part of our culture yeah. at some point. Yeah. But I, I, I learned to align it. Mm. I learned to, to find, mm. to, to, to find this proper sequence mm. so that I can better understand that when I'm reading the scripture, what is it that I'm really, really reading? Mm. Because most of the people are just reading this word. And if you could understand it from a metaphysical point of view, that there's the, there's the veil behind these mm. scriptures. There's, there's veils mm. behind the scriptures where the master will say, why do you teach in parables? Mm. And he would say, to those who understand will hear me that I am speaking certain keys of the kingdom. Yeah. You, know, you got what I'm saying? And that Which are not revealed to everybody. They, are not they hear me, but they don't understand. They will not They understand. see, but they don't perceive. They cannot perceive. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So again, we only give milk to children and then meat to the elves. Let me, be, let me become the pastor just for today. You know, let me become the pastor and have fun here. We all love the, this scripture because it shows to us uh, what the human body and what the human being, when is correctly aligned, By it. the miracles that they can perform or the, the, the demonstrations. By it. You look at the story of Moses, for example, By it. and the spells that he threw on Egypt. By I saw a cartoon actually in the course of the week that made me laugh. <laughs> Pharaoh, Pharaoh was looking, eh? Pharaoh was looking and he like threw this. Stick out. And he's saying, You guys are just complaining with one pandemic. Which is just uh, Corona. Uh, uh, I had ten of them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, but yeah. You, are, you are looking at a, at a man who touches the water and something happens. A man who throws his rod and it becomes a snake. La la la. A few days later, there are locusts. There is a, there are, you know, fleas and, and, and lice and frogs but, yeah, that are coming out from the Nile. You look at a man picking up his stick, touching the waters. The waters are parted. You look at a man striking a rock and water comes out. And people singing. You know, around the city, and the city collapses, for example. Biotic. And you look at all these metaphors. Elijah, for example. About what Africans are witches, because you can call the rain. You know, here is Elijah standing on he the side of the, the mountain. And he calls the fire in the afternoon. 
And in the evening, he is calling for the rain. With wood that has with that with wood, that wood water. that has water in it. Now, when you look at all these, when you look at all these <laughs> emblems, as far as I'm concerned, they are based on the connection when the human body is aligned to the spiritual space. By then it. the voice changes and stops being human. It starts becoming supernatural. Kesha, this these are some of the things that will inform culture. These are some of the things that will form tradition. Mm. These are some of the things that will inform ritual. Mm. And Africans understand that. We understood these things and we are just trying to... That a human being has power to, over the rain. We don't have to wait for miracles, Master Jay. We this, can this, perform the, those miracles. This thing of waiting for saviors to come and save us, that, that whole psychology of someone coming outside of you to come and save you is a disease to us. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Because they took that very same element and told you that a power rests with someone Not outside you. of yourself. Mm. When source says, I've given, I have given, I've made you perfect. Mm. I have created you perfect. In my image. You have all, my spirit all is things in you. All things, all things complete mm. are within you. Mm. You get what I'm saying? So now we have to walk around with, uh, with, with this crippled mm. mindset that someone has to do these things. Now, where we said, we were saying that when we structured our society, Master J, these are some of the precepts that, mm. that family was, the families would have. Mm. You get what I'm saying? That now became their culture mm. or their traditions. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Where now we understood that Neskates Tize, Sinomu Toga Angelaikaya. Now all the children, all the the the, the and the and, and and the patriarch mm. of the of the home will call the children uh, to, to to the homestead, mm. so that now we can perform these rituals mm. and these prayers and drink together and, 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 and align. And, and uh, the drinking part is part of the festivities. Mm. It's part of the no. I'm saying we're, drink, we're drinking the muti, we drink the potion, the, 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 the potion which, which, which that aligns us. Yes. that aligns us as a family. Yes. that keeps us in a particular mm. level of consciousness. Mm. Whether we are split or whatever, that's mm. why you will find that even during December times, <laughs> mm. you will find people saying, mm. and, and then, okay. Yeah, you uh, know what I'm saying? And when they come back in January, uh, the guy or the girl is strong and is like, yeah. 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 you know yeah. what I'm saying? And you know what they mean by yeah. that. I, I, I've, I've gone back home to center myself. I've been rooted. I've gone back home to, to eth align. Eth myself. I, I've earthed myself. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because like we said, it, in one of our talks with you to say that uh, the first institutions that we are sent to as, mm. as, as, as people are our families. Mm. That's why we would say, hey, mm. you get what I'm saying? Everybody's got their own thing. Mm. And those things were meant to be sacred. Mm. Those things were meant to be our power sources. Bambi, right, right there. Hold it right there when we come back after the break. I want us to explore uh, the various levels of spirituality and how we can attain them from just being physical to being spiritual and the intersection, interaction between physicality and spirituality. After the break. Hello. The fourth industrial technology era has forcefully changed how every profession has been working for its clients. The world has become smaller than what we used to think. Imagine the ease of talking to a person who is in Australia, China or Germany while you are in South Africa as if you're just next door. The ease that globalization and the fourth industrial technology have brought to humanity entail doing business anywhere in the world as long as you have the purpose and the means. It is our expertise as MB Chabong Incorporated to advise clients immigrating to South Africa on various permits and on opportunities for travelers who intend to sojourn in South Africa for a longer period of time. Lori awon isowo ile ati igbanilaye lati gba iwe iri na fun ise okowo ko MB Chabangu Incorporated Reba Energy di nota ri le ba sebedi isi le di office ja rena ku Pretoria Johannesburg le Bloemfontein MB Chabangu Incorporated iku mena ga ga bona le go ba re ke ba rena go humana tlhabiso le sedi nka botlalo re khopela le rile le tshemogalo go 012 Feel the heat. Hold on. To make it through this journey alive, you're gonna need someone to teach you the ninja way. 
down there. Kill someone! <laughs> Feel the excitement. Feel the heat. Welcome back again to our wonderful show and to our guest for tonight, Umkulu Usalembete Gift Majordina, uh, practicing Gobela. He's uh, taking through young students and young people, not young in terms of age. Some of them are older than him, but he has spent quite some time in this spiritual space and tonight has been quite special as i have been getting lots of information it's almost like i feel like i'm in class today <laughs> many people think that they are life <clears throat> many people think that they are life and they say they are life because they eat and they drink mm. and they sleep <laughs> and so their function is very what i might want to call material <laughs> material and then there are those few once in a while they move into the realm of dreams and visions and all of a sudden they become aware that there is there are other things that are happening in the in the in the physical space right. then there are those now who understand and interpret that and constantly live in the spiritual space right. and, and maybe just for for, 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 for for this last part I want you to take me through what is consciousness <laughs> Biotech. Because you, can, you, 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 can, you, cannot, you cannot just be alive for the sake of eating and drinking and sleeping. And then there's an announcement a few weeks later. We hear by announce the passing away off. Oh, but he, oh, oh, he was fighting oh, and screaming. Oh, is it oh, you know, God it, was life is God. God was According God. to you, Chief, take me through, my Lord. Take me through, Honorable. <laughs> what is consciousness? Um... Mkulu, this is consciousness. The mere fact that we are stretching certain concepts further than what we could conceive them to be at some point. Mm. Consciousness is the reason why there's growth. Consciousness is the reason why we can refer to things like eternity, for example. Because mm. consciousness is the one that allows you to even perceive that there's a thing called mm. eternity. Mm. And these are philosophical space, mm. but this is consciousness. Mm. This is what keeps us alive. Consciousness is the one that is making you understand what I'm saying mm. or what I'm interpreting in terms of my speech to you, mm. in terms of using whatever ether mm. that we are entering into mm. so that we can speak this English, for mm. example. And when I, cho when I choose to change ether, then I'll speak Zulu. Mm. When I choose to change ether, Kibwasot. Mm. When I choose uh, ether, then I'll speak another language. But what I'm saying, all of these are mm. functions within what consciousness allows us mm. uh, in, in terms of being in this space. Mm. So when we are here on this planet, mm. which is a plane, mm. which is a, 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 <coughs> a region, mm in the quantum space mm. by it by it it is just a place where we say we are we are visitors mm. <laughs> within this time frame or mm. within this ether or within this uh, planet mm. as you want to put it so when we come in here we come into a, a, a particular Real. expression mm. expression of consciousness mm. Thus, we would say that the consciousness of the earth mm. differs to the consciousness of heaven, where God says, my thinking is not, not like your, your thinking. thinking, because yeah. my thinking is heaven. Half is higher. You go and then say, where I am here, there's no sun, there's no moon. But you, you know, and here we are, we are being controlled by the sun and the moon. You, 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 you get what I'm saying? Mm. And already those things, already those things should inform you mm. of, of how this consciousness mm. or this plane or this planet or this lifetime mm. is actually functioning mm. within the bigger scope mm. of of what we would call life mm. you get what i'm saying within this whole concept so now this whole thing we we end here mm. you know because master jay to come back because we're talking realms we're mm. talking uh different heavens and and, and so called coming from a christian background mm. um I, I i was i had two two dimensions in my thinking mm. There's heaven and hell, and and there's earth. Okay. 
hell is the is the variant of heaven. Okay. If I'm not going to heaven, <laughs> yes, okay, yeah. uh, says okay. <laughs> you know, but there's only two planes. Mm. It's only earth and heaven. And heaven. And, and and heaven is a place where now there's singing and there's mm. joy. People and, are singing holy, holy, and, and following like, behind, behind I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there. It's boring. <laughs> like, yo, uh, I could just do that here. Yeah. yeah. I could just sing and dance and do whatever instead of now waiting to go and do that there. Mm. Like, come on, guys. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So now the first thing now when we start interacting with so-called heaven, mm. I meet people in different planetary systems or mm. galaxies or, or, or dimensions. And I'm having a conversation with these people and I'm saying, am I dead? Am I in heaven? Am I alive? Is, is, is this heaven? Mm. And then they will tell me, no, it's another, it's another, place. It's another door mm. in heaven. So now when I listen to the master quote say, to say, in my father's house, there are no, many, many rooms. I, 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 now I, you understand. Now you understand that there are... And actually the book of Enoch goes to length, including the book of the dead, By, uh, which the is the book of the living. Book of the living. Yeah. And where it actually says, when people, then I was taken. This is the watcher. Uh -huh. Then I was taken into plains where I saw thousands of people who had died, By where they are being kept, their souls are there, and what and what. By and and these are some of the books that were removed from the, from, the canon, from the canon itself, which explain the understanding of the African you know, uh, theories and exactly. mysteries. What they, would, they were, what they would call uh, myths, Myth. myths yeah. mythologies, mm. and all of those things. And I would tell every African out there, please go study your myths. Mm. Go study your mythology, because mm. that is where our answers are. Mm. But you will also need to purify your to even understand them Those because they're also hidden in plain sight to mm. us mm. you know they've, mm. they've never been lost mm. that's why we are saying come back to your culture mm. but people don't understand what we are saying when we are saying that mm. and by just coming with some of these ideas we are saying look further look deeper mm. into these things look further the, the, than, than just saying my totem is a, is a, is a lion. Mm. There's a reference to that lion mm. in, in terms Both of... Both on earth and <laughs> in the stars. You, 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 you understand what I'm saying? The Mr. clan James. of the lions is actually linked up to the cosmos. Huh? So now we ask the question, then now that some people find themselves in so-called dream, dreamland mm. and they are being chased by spirits or lion, tagati by, by, by or whatever, snakes and whatever stuff. it is, and then they would come back and say, yesterday I went so and so and so and so mm. or to such and such and such and such. Mm. The difference between me and that person as a seer mm. or as, an, as, as a trained spiritualist mm. is the fact that I can enter into those space consciously. Wow. While they can't, it has to happen automat or, or, or automatically, if you want to mm. put it like mm. that, as an exercise of sleeping mm. and then the next thing. Because now for us, that is... is That's the realm. It, it, you live that, there. We, that is the astral plane, as, 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 as others will call it. Mm. You get what I'm saying? That astral realm has... You move there. Has, th there's mm. movement. There's living. There's decisions to be made. There's influences. Some people, Master J are being worked in the metaphysical space and they, they end up being up. affected. And then because now I can now go in and then run the timeline. And say guys, what's happening up and here? run the timeline. And then when we get to the timeline we're like, uh uh. Uh -uh. Uh, like, listen, uh. the alignment is off here. Yes. The alignment is off because the timeline is knocking now. If there is something I've picked up tonight, which is very, <coughs> very important, is the issue of alignment. alignment. Alignment is the alignment. Why do we practice culture? To align or something. Why do we practice our traditions or why do we have allegiance to our traditions? I mean, and I'm cultures? even looking at it as a stressed person. When you listen to music, then I feel much better. By it has nothing to do with you feeling better. By it only cool. means that through the music you're listening. And which part of the music it has been able to? to? You're which cutting part short. You're cutting short. Tell people at home the, the show is finished. Tell people by at it. home the, what they must do. What they must do during this season. By it, them call. Honor the seasons. Honor the seasons. Align yourself with the seasons and what the seasons represent and mean. Align yourself. And with the that will give you what is it that you need to bring to the earth. Wow, you heard for yourself, Mukuli is coming back. I guarantee you, 
I will bring him back again and again. <laughs> this conversation is not even started yet. It's not even started. We want to unpack this whole concept of Africans who are walking around like zombies. They think they are alive, but they are dead. But they yeah, are dude. dead. You are dead. Flipping dead. You're only lucky that maggots are not coming out of your ears. <laughs> but it, it, consciousness has to do with you being aware of what you are, what's happening around you. Who are you marrying? What are you eating? What are you drinking? And what are these things doing to you in your physical body as they relate to the other heavenly spaces of which you are? That's why your head is always in the sky and your feet, feet must always the be on the ground. Oh, yeah, your host yeah. for tonight, Maponga Jeichi, Garamboko, Garamashamba Huda. Shirara na wana wewa njima kumbe mwana mwesende weshanu chibu wichitenza, chibu wichitenza, chino tenze wari kure. Wari pedu wano tambana cha umtamburi paru wari wani garama wema tanda anovora. Shirara na wana wewa njima chiribe mangora na wapufuri waya. Until we see you again don't do what i wouldn't do but if you decide to do it do it better